just got it all over my mouse. Yeah, you did. Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? What? We are live. We live. Yeah, we are. Okay, here we go. Okay, before I do that, I need to put on a bit of makeup. I did not use any of that makeup. None of this? Never use, I haven't used any of that yet. Daddy, you have to go away for a while, okay? I will bring you back when I'm done eating. Ew, Teddy, you're bleeding. Oh, Teddy, you're so... Here. Dirty. You hold my knife. Sarah Kate, hi Faith, hi Tasha, hi Ma, hi Laura, sorry. Girl. hi Tasha, hi Faith, hi Sarah. Sorry, I'm running hi. a little late. Hi so. Christy, is that Kristen? Chris, Chris, Kristen, Kristen. Hi Kristen. Yeah, sorry, I'm running a little late. I I decided to make more props today. Hi Adele. We are just having leftovers today because Kay wants to get into making the gingerbread. Um, crackers as fast as she can. Yeah. So we're just going to eat really fast, which that's what I'm good at. Unfortunately, I'm not. Hi, Lynn. You know what? What? I only have three Dr. Peppers left. I guess I'll just drink a Pepsi. Should I drink a baby Pepsi? No. <sighs> Thank you, Faith. Teddy's back here, though. Teddy's been a very, very naughty Hi, Adele. boy. Adele, look, I'm using the makeup. Teddy's been a very bad boy, though. I need... We need to take Felicia out of her clothes today and put her in another clothes. Yep. It's just going to be a quick little... Huh, you girls look bloody good. <laughs> well... I was walking through the woods today with Teddy, and I found a knife, and then everything bloody. I don't know what he happened. You can't see him, but I got little hearts on my cheeks. Hi, Jinx! Hi, Jinx. Happy Vlogtober day, day two. two. Uh, we're just eating leftovers from yesterday. Hi, Denise. I apologize. I was a little late on makeup, so I just slapped a little on. You too. What is this? Don't worry about that. What is that? Stop it. What is that? Stop. What is it? I don't ask you what's on your face, do I? Yeah, but what is that? That's none of your business. That's what that is. Did Teddy do that? No. Are you sure? Mm hmm. <gasps> I know! I made the horns! I made these horns today. Don't they look okay? I mean, they're not the best looking horns. This stuff was really good on this last night. <laughs> Yay! I'm not creative, well, but tomorrow for, um, tomorrow I'll show you guys how I did that slit neck. So you guys can see up close and personal. I think we'll use Zoom tomorrow so we can get the phones like right up there. So, mm -hmm. yeah. 
Oh my gosh, Tasha. Wink, wink, Catherine. Wink, wink, Catherine. <laughs> so just letting you the guys... The story about Teddy, Teddy was creative, though. <laughs> okay, so I think for one of the days that we're supposed to be off, uh -huh. I can do a vlog on how to create the horns. Mm -hmm. So that way, you know, it gives them ideas on how to create stuff. Like they can create the horns in all different shapes, you know, whatever shapes they want. They can yeah. make rams, you know, can make ram horns, you know, everything. Yeah. Oh, little baby. What? <laughs> Midge, what are you doing? Taking the baby. You must be behaving. What? Thank you, Lori, girl. Yeah. You would not believe what I created them out of. I'm pretty sure they do. Maybe. You can still see them. Hi, Chantel. Hi, Foodie Beauty. Hi, Milk. Hi, Milk. How are you? Day two. Happy day two. Hi, plain cheeseburgers. What? What? Do I need to stuff you back in my room and close the door? Hi, Laura. We're good. How are you? Hi, Laura. I'll be right back, you guys. Thank you, plain cheeseburger. Oh, have you guys met Teddy yet? Have you guys met Teddy? Put that back in there. Have you guys met Teddy yet? Hi, Raquel. Hi, Teddy. Thank you, Terry. Teddy? Teddy? Teddy. Hi, Terry. Yeah. Thank you, little coop. We're in no rush. Trust me. Come here. Come here. Oh, Chantel Plain Cheeseburger is calling you out. She hasn't gone to the Dollar Tree yet. Well, neither have we, Bunny. Oh, look the bang bang. Yeah, you might want to shove him back in your bedroom. Yes, we're going to do. I'll be right back, you guys. I apologize. You too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't spend that much at the dollar store, Chantel, please. That's a... Uh... Losing everything. It's like the sun going down. Let me find it. On me. It is called Blood Spray, and you can get it at Walmart for a couple dollars. Yeah. Oh, and it's everywhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's everywhere. First thing I do when the spooky season co comes around, I go directly to the Halloween stuff and I get all the blood they have there. Mm-hmm. That way we're I don't eating, have to. We're eating leftovers from last night, so we got the enchiladas. I apologize. Enchiladas. Yeah, we're just eating leftover enchiladas. You are very welcome. They don't look like much because the plate's white. Although Bunny's is full of uh, 
So don't. Shh. They don't need to know that. Mm -hmm. It could have been Angela Odyssey's name. Did Michael Myers have a run in with you and Teddy Bunny? This is Michael Myers. I turned him into a teddy bear. She pulled a Chucky, and Michael Myers' soul now resides in that teddy bear. Thank you, Tasha. Mm. Uh oh. <laughs> Always need clean undies. You know when people say stuff like that, running a load into the washer? Mm -hmm. It makes me think they're climbing into the washer just to, you know. Oh, look, it's orange chicken. Hi, orange chicken. Well, my name is Bunny, and I'm Majesticus Fluffing Unicorn K. And, and we, we are, are bitching and eating. And we are a... Part food, part cooking, part, you know, nonsense. We are the and family, we're sisters. We are the family you want to get away from very quickly. And hello, Tanya. Hi, Tanya. Ooh, went to Ooh. a musical. Oh. Ooh, heading to dinner. We love you, too. Oh, oh, I've seen you in her live streams before, Orange Chicken. Hi, Sha. Hi, Shaw. You are quite what happened to Teddy? A colorful character. What happened to Teddy? Nothing happened to Teddy. He's just fine. He's always fine. Teddy and I were walking through the forest today. He um uh, seems to have lost an arm and gained a weapon. I'm not sure. Thank you, Shaw. <laughs> well, Laura okay says you're my kind of family. Because <laughs> I told them that I, that we were the family you want to get away yeah. from very quickly. Aw, thank you, Lori girl. I know we try to. We really do. What's that, Teddy? I didn't poke his eye out again, I swear. It was an accident. He made me. He told me to. Hi, Lachmas! Uh-huh. 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 Hi, Margo. What? Teddy just told me you're the one that ambushed us in the forest. Mm -mm, you're me. the one that ripped off his arm. Nope, wasn't me. I wasn't even in the forest today. I was in the field picking daisies and roses and other flowers. And then I you don't them. have the you don't have the capacity to sit there and pick flowers. Did you not hear what I just said? I picked roses and daisies and then I ate them. Yeah. Hi, Torrent. Taurine man. Taurine? Or is it Torrin? Taurine? Chat first. Hello. Okay, foodie buddy. Hi, Chucky. We left her a message last night. Thank you, Shaw. Oh, Shay. Shay. Sorry, Shay. Damn it. I always get that wrong. I said it last night. You know the what? Other night. Excuse me. You know. You know. Teddy, that is very inappropriate. You apologize right now. No. Anyways. 
You know, you come to Bay Nation and you get a whole new name you didn't even know you wanted. Or you didn't want. I don't know, I'll ask her. Hey, Chantal. Hi, Teddy. Hey, okay, Teddy. There's no need to be sorry. Why are you sorry? Hi, Rory. This is Bay Nation. We're two sisters who eat dinner. And then sometimes we bake or we Teddy, have fun. Teddy, Teddy wants to Teddy wants to know if he can come and live with you. Hmm. He said you seem more funner than I do. Teddy's gonna be putting time out here in a minute for that comment. Hmm? Oh, Lori girl doesn't want to end up like Teddy. These are crying. Enchiladas. Yeah, reading leftover enchiladas from yesterday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Shay, we aren't really a place to be asking about weight loss. Well, Kay might give you some. She's had weight loss surgery. Um, I mean, it actually depends on the person and how your body reacts to different things. So you, the only advice I can really give you is to keep a uh, trying diets and you until you can find one that works thank you tasha no teddy i didn't scold you i scolded teddy Oh, I'm now Teddy. That isn't Teddy. That's Kay. I'm Teddy now. Oh, apparently you're Teddy. Oh my gosh, Kay. Chantel. You don't want to even talk, uh, saggy fupa. You're in trouble, Teddy. You need to be put in So, I've got a flat tire here. Stay, Teddy. Uh, yeah. So, I've got, I've got a deflated tire here, and I've got... No, oh, I can't do that. I've got this right here. This is called my apron. If I was wearing proper pants, I could pull my pants up and make a butt crack down here, you know, right here. And on occasion, I like to twerk it. And the cat you hear is probably Midgey. I like to twerk my fupa. Because how many people can twerk their fupa? Actually, Chucky, I have a whole TikTok of it. What? Oh. Excuse you. Oh, I didn't realize it was my phone. I was like, what are you doing? That's not mine. Mine's Thank over you, here. Thank you, Tasha. Yeah, no. Hold on. You guys, I'll be right back, buddy. Hold what? this down. I gotta run up to my room and find my pants. Why don't you do that after you're done eating? Because I like to be proactive. It's all right. Trolling is for trolls. I'm pretty sure um, Plain Cheeseburger can give you some advice, though, Chantel. Um, seems like uh, Plain Cheeseburger is a pretty good troll from what I heard. Hey, princess. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. I'm very proactive. If I could hide my face. Now watch me twerk it. Twerk it. 
twerk it. I have a nice ass in the front. God forbid I showed you my back ass. But anyways, you hide the face and twerk it. Oh, hold on. Like that? Does no. That work? You can still see. Now you do it. Now do it. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> People are saying, "Get it, girl!" And you got mad skills. Get it away from the blood. That's fine. He just hangs up here. Cause. Hey, Annie Peach. I literally have a whole TikTok of it. But yeah, see my ass? My ass isn't as nice as my fupa area. <laughs> you should audition for, <laughs> for America's, America's Got, Got Talent. Talent. No, thank you. They would turn my ass down so fast. No, thank you, plain cheeseburgers. I need to eat. <clears throat> yeah, that is my... Welcome back, we're help. Let's do the time warp again. Excuse me, guys. It's just a jump to the left and then a step to the right. Put your hands on your hips and your knees in ties. Do the pelvic thrust. It'll drive you insane. Let's do the time warp again. No, it's just as a joke, Chucky. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a joke. I have a whole TikTok of me with my pants backwards. Welcome back, Raquel. Well, yeah, I said. I know I was saying. Welcome, that. hello, Coop. Welcome to all the new viewers. <laughs> Chantel, you missed my uh, fupa twerking. Welcome back, Raquel. I hope your undies get extra clean. <laughs> yeah, I did some poopa twerking. Nope, if your pants were on backwards, it would be one hell of a race to get them off to go to the bathroom. Here, for you, Chantel, I'll get up and Thank twerk Thank you, again. Annie. My ass. And you twerk it. You twerk it. You target. I wish, I wish the camera was down just a little bit more. Should I move the camera down just mm -hmm. a little bit more? There. And good. <laughs> it's hard to do it like that. Yeah. I need to be there for that. Yes, I do too. Yeah. No, like. Hi, Angela. Hi, Angela. Yeah. It's like it's like one of my favorite skills after I lost all that weight. It just <laughs> forget twerking my ass. I've got it. I got a. Uh, <clears throat> I've got a front butt. Wait, what? Huh. These girls have raised the bar. If you do not learn how to torque your fupa, we are all mass unsubscribing. Oh my gosh. That's not nice. Because not everyone can I don't know how, I don't know if everybody can do that. Like torque your fupa area. Because mm -hmm. I know it's like it's contracting your ab muscles. Mm -hmm. 
Kate versus Chantel. We can vote. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, Thank you, Chantel Marie. can definitely twerk mm. better than I can. Can Bunny do it? No, I can't. My stomach is too Thank low. Thank you, Shay. You can only do it if you've had weight loss surgery. Uh uh-uh. uh. Or have a butt in the front. I don't have mm-hmm. a butt in the front. You can do it if you're chunky. I'm way too chunky for that shit. But thank you. Lori is okay. That is... Oh, man. I just lost my words. We're really excited to hear that. Yeah, like, we really try. We also appreciate it. Yeah, like, we try. Like, we just stay here. I know we don't really go too many places, you know, because, you know, we just like to sit here and have fun and talk and eat and play and terrible bake. That's me. And spread blood all over our body because I enjoy it. Even though half of the time that stains my body. Yeah. Chantel, when you decide to, um, I'm going to call it forking, you know, fupa fupa twerk. I'm going to call it um, forking. That's the new term for it, forking. Oh, Angela, you have no idea. I have been turning on my heater for the last three days. Thank you. I really want orange chicken, though. Excuse me. I want to see NPC shake her buns. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to refer to it as forking. Whoop it work, fork. Mm. Excuse me, I have to go get my forking pants on. Yeah, yeah, like, no, legit, I have no ass, see? I have, like, no ass. Nothing there. I, it's no butt, all gut. That's what I say. I like oversized sweaters and haunted houses. Yeah. Well, Angela, just stick around because our house will be haunted in about two weeks. Yeah, no, we are definitely ourselves (laughs) and... Like, even me, I get, like, really wild and crazy. Uh, I cannot be tamed. Really, I cannot be tamed. How much more real do you have to be when you actually physically yell at your sister on on a YouTube show? Realer than that, you have to throw yourself on the floor and then complain that you've bruised your knees up. Not right now, Linda. I'm tired. Wow. You need to take your horns off or they're going to break. Okay, bye. I'll see you in three to six. Okay. Make sure you tell. Make sure you tell um, Grandma that oh. I didn't appreciate what she did. Yeah. Definitely tell her that while I'm down here. We're lucky. The other day, my boob got caught on the corner of the table. Literally. Yeah, she did. K can do everything that you can think of paranormal wise. Oh yeah, we do. Except for I can do a few things she can't. <gasps> Thank you, Angela. I love you. I am not a medium, but I am something. Mm-hmm. She's psychiatric. That's what she is. <laughs> I am, when I am asleep, you know what? She's not a medium. She's more of an extra large. I am, no, <laughs> I am. <laughs> Me and Annie were thinking the same thing. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, Shay. Literally, while I'm asleep, like in rim state, 
like people will come to me and they will communicate with me. Excuse me, I should not be drinking sodas while live streaming and it's very inappropriate. I'm ruthless and I don't care, I'll fart. The other day I just let one rip. Well, people get angry when you burp on camera. I don't care, I have to let it out. But the other day I let one rip and I swear to God I almost pissed my pants laughing. Because that shit was loud. Really can read for people. Mm. I wish I had tarot cards. I don't know. I've never I've never tried. And that just shows us that we're real people because real people burp, fart. I no more jam. jam. Actually, you're right. We have no more jam. <laughs> I, <think laughs> so. I no learned jam. that the bagels No, she's not. Oh, yeah, the old lady goes up there. It's not a naked old lady. That's a naked young lady in my room. The old lady is upstairs. I was yes. up there and I kept hearing noises. Yes, Lori girl, we are aware that most of you come from Chantel's channel. Yes. And we are aware of what Chantel does. But a lot of people that come in here do not like it. So I try to keep it to a minimum. Uh, like that? Maybe she did die naked. I don't know. But there is a lot of shit that go on in October in our house. You guys may see shit. You guys may hear shit. You, could you probably... will see us go like this or like this or like this or go like this. Then you know something's happening. But um, a couple videos ago, I can't remember which one it was. It might have been the birthday celebration. Oh, probably. But we were sitting here and an orb appeared right about here. It was like orange right about here. Struck down this way and disappeared. Hmm. <laughs> Hi, Hello, Marissa. Marissa. Hi, Marissa. Yes. Oh, good timing is. Oh, yes. Yes. We actually have Vlogtober from man. We do have an old woman. We do have an oh, old woman. Oh, Jesus Christ! That just reminds me. What? Reminded me. You remember how you said you thought you saw a lady in a, a wedding dress? No, I said a white dress running across oh, the front yard. Wait, white dress. That used to be the lady that used to be in here. The lady in the white dress. Why is she outside running around then? Because we've we've smudged and stuff, and so they've been forced out of the house. That's only for bad spirits. Good no, spirits stay when you smudge. Because we tell them to get out. We've been telling them to stay out, and they're not allowed in. <sighs> Missy, is it right? No, I want that. Yeah, that. Yeah, I want that. Do you have a dead body hanging down from the ceiling fan? Maybe. Oh, you mean, you mean I, uh, Felicity? Yeah, I know. And it's not very often that this stuff happens. And Chantel, they were only a dollar. So we got these cute drink glasses for a dollar. We could also take them and put like a viscous liquid in there and put like eyeballs. So or something Faith, in there. you are you are sensing things in our house. The old man that you're sensing is probably the one that is not here anymore. He is the same age as the old woman upstairs. Hi, yeah, yeah. Um, that is her husband. She is currently still in our house. Thank you. She refuses to leave, no matter what the hell we do. I don't know who she is. What you? I mean, I know who she is. I don't know what she wants, why she's there. Must be her mm -hmm. comfort zone. But me and Kane no longer occupy the upstairs room because of her, because she gives us nightmares. Um, the older man would be her hmm. husband. He was a very, very nice yes, man. Yes, he crossed over very nicely right along with that. Wait, Missy? Hi, Missy. I'm sorry I missed your name. I miss it, yeah. <laughs> Do you ever mm -hmm. hear them being frisky? No. no. But you hear them getting loud, as in banging on walls, stomping around. Uh, we even used to have a ghost train. Oh, you must be talking about my grandfather. I didn't know he was still here. I thought he I thought he went Wait, over what? with grandma. 
She says he's related to us. Must be grandpa. Hmm. Oh, is with you? Hmm. I wonder which one it is. We have several. Mm hmm. Do you sense anything else, Faith? Excuse me while I struggle to get up off the floor. Yeah, let me help you with my bloody arm. Move your bloody st or it will become a bloody stump. Here, let me help you out a lot. Kind of yeah. like your sidekick. Hmm. My horn. Kind of like Oh. Hi, Hello, Vickery. Vickery. Hi, Vickery. The one with the heart problem. Dad's father? Go Hold on. I'll be right back, you guys. Um, ask mom. Because I don't think... Huh. I have not watched that yet, but I will be watching that soon. We watch it every single year. We're having enchiladas, which is what we had yesterday. Yes, Mango is actually downstairs on the kitty blanket. Hey, Faith, do you know what side of the family he's on? Because we're trying to narrow it down because we had like three grandpas. Well, two, three, three, two. He keeps saying moms. Hmm. Okay, well, she's downstairs right now talking to mom because she would know better. Um, if that was mom over and over again. Moms, moms, moms. Do you know the first letter of his name? Great grandpa. He keeps saying, yeah, he keeps saying mom's side of the family. Yeah, great grandpa. I'm trying to get to see if she knows the he first. He had a heart attack? Just wait. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to see if um, he can tell us his, the first letter of his name. Oh, baby. <sighs> this is intense. I've never been red before. I've always wanted to be red. I've always read people's houses, but I've never been read myself. I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Your hair looks awful red to me. And your, your face. Horn. Your horn's about to fall off. My horn is breaking. This is what I get for being floppy. Sloppy. Not the horn. Yeah, I did. I made my horn so you could tell it's... I gotta take them off. No! But yeah, I made these. Charlie or starts with a C. Mom's mom. Mom's dead. Mom's mom. So it would be grandma's. Well, let me go ask my wit. Why don't you let mom come in here, if she will? Maybe it'll be easier. Okay, I'll be right back. Hold on, Faith. We're going to have mom come in here. Mom? Can you step in here? Oh, I thought that was a piece of my hair for a second. Well, not just one second, Faith. So, um, 
Bunny, I'll tell you. Did so one of Chantel's subscribers, Faith, is trying to read us. Okay. And she said that a man who had a heart attack from mom's mom's side. So it wouldn't be your, it would be your mom's mom's side. So probably great grandmother, I'm assuming. She said it was either Charlie mom's, or a guy dad. with a name. So great grandpa. That's what she said. Mom's mom, dad. Did his name start with a C? No. no. Mm -hmm. He keeps saying mom's mom. My mom's mom? Yeah. Well, it would be mom's mom's, mom's, mom's. mom's. Your mom. I'm assuming. Dad. So your grandpa. Yeah, so it would be your side of the family. That would be grandpa. Great grandpa. But his name didn't start. Do you? Does any of our family members' name starts with a C or? Oh, Ma said, "Hey, sister." Hey, sister, sister. Heart problems. He keep. Uh, she said he kept holding his chest. Oh, frozen. No. No C. No C. No C even down the line. Not even a nickname. Mm -mm. Cranky old man, but that's maybe not... maybe that maybe it is cranky old man. Maybe it's a nickname. She did say he litter he is literally, literally right, right there, there with you. you. Yes, we are can you kind of see what he looks like so i can faith do you have a do you can you like see him do you know what he looks like how tall he is or how tall he is what color hair he has no, that wouldn't even oh, be it'd be great part of it because that makes sense oh she said that makes sense she started laughing when i said cranky old man and yes. she said that makes that's sense exactly what how he was <laughs> cranky old man so I'm sensing a woman literally right next to you, Kay. She's touching your fupa. Excuse me. I need to step aside. Walk this way. You will be he's best. Hey, he's hey. persistent. On what? What is he persistent on? Like, and grouchy. And grouchy. So, whoever, yeah. See, what does he want? What does he want, Faith? I mean, does what, he know what he does? It do you does he tell you what he wants? I mean, this is the time of the year that we do get a lot of this shit. Oh my god, we have been. it's Felicity. <laughs> oh my god, that girl's better back up. That's my K. Mom, do you like my makeup? She I wants your fupa. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! I, I was already fupa twerking. That's enough. Even a spirit can't refuse the fupa. Well, I thought you would know better than we would because I don't really know our side of the family besides besides uh, your, um, it's our great-grandmother. Mm -hmm. Tradition? Tradition. Is there a tradition you guys would do? Nope. No? No. Mm. He always stayed out of everything. He was, <laughs> he always Stayed on the back page. Does that say recognition? Book. Recognition? No, he never did that either. Hmm. Anything like that. See, the only people from my mom's side of the family that I have seen personally that I have never, ever had he has he ever been into Halloween? Like, no, no, he no. no. See, I don't know. The only people Halloween, that, Christmas, nothing. No. The only people that I personally seen like when i'm because my mom's side of the family we all have gifts don't we ma mom can see moms can see stuff outside she's able to tell us you know stuff like i guess since it's october we can tell this stuff over and since a lot of you guys are new to our channel and a lot of you guys don't know this my mom's side of the family oh you weighed yourself how much how much do you weigh Chantel? I'm just joking. Don't tell me. It's a secret. Since it's October, we will tell you guys. 
Um, we all have a different gift. My mom's gift is basically in her awake state. Oops. In her awake state. Ooh, it is okay, Chantel. Um, she is able to see, sense, smell, hear, everything you can do with a ghost. It's a genetic gift. Yeah. Yes, it's a genetic gift. Um, Ooh, that sounds good, Missy. My gift is a lot different. Even though I can sense them in my awake, I can also sense them <laughs> while I'm asleep. Oh, yes. And while you're asleep... <laughs> while you're asleep, I have noticed it is a lot dangerous to have that kind of gift. Because while you're asleep, you are open. Which means a lot more things will be coming in to get your attention. I have had several, on occasions, I have had several children try to, try to take me away from my own sleeping body. And once you leave your body, you may never get back into it again. Scary, but true. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh that is my not, gosh. This is it's nothing compared to what I'm about to tell you and what Kay is about to tell you. Um, so, yeah, you've had experiences, oh, yeah. too. So I will tell you my experiences, and then Kay will tell you hers. I have had many experiences from the time that I was two years old up until now. No, not, not, loose, not loose of dreams. These are real. Like, you could reach out and touch shit. Hello, Jules. When Hello. I was two years old... We lived in a small town in Northern California with um, mom and dad. I uh, love dragon. Jules wasn't born yet. She came two years later. Uh, a year. No, a year later because Kay was, no, two. For mm -hmm. me, it was two. Three. No. Two. I was already born. Yes, I know. So she came a year Three. after. Three. So. Sorry, she came a year later because Kay was there. We were living in a small apartment in Northern California, and I had woken up from a nap, was sitting on the side of my bed, chilling, and the closet door popped open. Well, at two years old, you don't really know much of anything. So I look over, and this guy in this red suit jumped out of the closet, red eyes, said, hey, bunny. Hey, bunny. Come here. I want to play. Bye, Missy. Thank you for coming. What dog? Whose Who's dog? dog? What dog? I don't... Uh. There's no dog here. It's a kitty cat. Anyways, he popped out of the closet and he said, Hey, bunny, you want to play? And then he started walking back towards the closet. Well, at that time, I had gotten my pretty little ass up and ran and went mo Momo. Yeah. Mama's not even here. <laughs> anyway, so I went and got mom. They checked the house. The next day, they had um, summoned a priest. Well, the priest did not want to come into the house. We um, we slept in the same room that day or that time, and um, the next day I had saw him across the um. Well, that's terrible. Obviously, this isn't Christmas. This is Halloween. Yeah, you're get getting your, your holidays, holidays mixed up. Yeah, dude. Come on. Come on. Get your holiday straight, man. Anyways, I saw him across the street. That was just one of what things to come. Okay, go ahead and tell him. Tell them the next. Um, I think the next is when I was still in Head Start. I actually had two separate experiences. Hi! Hi. <clears throat> I had two separate experiences. The first one, um, there was a, we, uh, we used to live up in the hills, kind of, um, and I would go behind the house after school every day, and I would talk to people out on this driveway way across the way. 
and Bunny, Jules, and the ex-sister, Mom, nobody could ever see them except me. I could hear them. Well, I don't know. Anyways, nobody could see them except me. And then one day, after weeks and weeks and weeks of calling me and uh, begging me to come with them, they're like, come on, let's go have pizza. And I was like, okay, sounds like fun. So I start walking my happy ass down the hill to go find these people in this Jeep. Four teenagers in a Jeep. Two boys, two girls. And I start walking my happy ass down the way to try and find these people. And Ma stops me and prevents me from going with them. And I believe it's the same people. But on the other occasion, whenever I was at school, I'd always see that same exact Jeep. Actually, they followed me. Remember how we used to live with Grandma? Yeah. I remember seeing the Jeep. I remember you I remember you running and hiding under the and table. Hiding, yeah. I used to hide under the table because That's not the only reason why you hid under the table. That was because of Aunt Junie too and a damn denture. She used to scare the shit out of oh. us. Yeah. Yeah, a thumbs up in Uncle Aunt Junie. Junie. Sorry, not Aunt Junie, Uncle Junie. Yeah. And um but this Jeep had followed me up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they were demons, though. I'm, I'm like, about 90% sure it was demons. And, um, what, actually, it kind of reminds me of sometimes they come back, and sometimes they come back again. Yeah, almost. They are, especially for a young child. Ooh. Um, <clears throat> when we moved into the house we are currently in, um, we moved in here when I was in first grade. Kay was in, maybe I was in second grade. Maybe you were in first grade. Uh, I was in kindergarten when I moved here. Okay, so well, I was in first grade. Kay was in kindergarten. Um, Jules was in Head Start or whatever. Um, Pretty we, cool. We started having... We started having um, experiences. Um, little girl, probably about the age of six or seven, would walk up and down the hallway crying for her mother. We don't know. Um, we weren't exactly sure where her mother was. She never really showed herself except for once or twice. I did not know that was her mother at the time. But there was a whole flipping family mm -hmm. in this house when we moved in here. Um, the little boy pretty much roamed the house doing things, turning off TVs, turning on TVs, um, lowering and um, like making the. Hold on, look in there. Look in there. Hold it up to the light. Oh there. yeah. No, it's just the. It's just this. Oh, is it? Yeah. So. Um, he was pretty much a prankster. Didn't really do nothing more than just that. Yeah, I remember. I will tell them that in a minute. Um, we used to occupy the um, room up here, up above us, yeah. where you sometimes see us. It's an attic now. And the old lady that we talk to, talked about earlier... She used to give us extremely bad dreams, the ones you cannot get out of. Mm -hmm. um, we stopped using that room when it started Hi, getting Princess really, Pinkwell. really, really bad. Um, the father used to hang around on the front porch and the side yard. We have smudged. We have smudged with sage. So many freaking times. Um, this isn't the worst of it. You guys just wait. Because the worst is about to come. None of this is just bad. None of this is bad. But the father, um, I please, what I'm about to tell you guys is not racist. This is just what we see. Um, this land used to be a river sometime, and then it was farmland, and then it was owned by 
what was it, gypsies or some some stuff? Yeah. Um. Hello, princess. Oh, that's what I said. Hello, princess. Um. He used to. He used to. What I assume. This used to be like a. You know, like in Southern. Um. Oh, what are they called? It was like a. Um, what are those things plantation. called? Plantation. It was like a plantation, kind of. And so it did we. Um, it was kind of a plantation because in this backyard, we used to see a lot of African Americans, which were not there. It was just what we could see from when the land, of what the land was on. And they were picking a lot of, like, cotton and wheat and stuff. And the guy that used to own this house was back there. Excuse me, princess. Please do not be mean to the mobs or I will ban you myself. My one and last morning warning. I don't think this two stuff is working. We, uh, we don't have a Facebook. We do have an Instagram and a Twitter. And we don't have a TikTok together. Kay's got one, but I... I just use mine to do things on. I, we don't really have a TikTok together. We don't have a Bay TikTok. Kay's got one for herself. She does a lot. I of mean, I, stuff. I have one made for. Bay, um, the house that we live in right now was born was built, built in, in the forties, but the land itself is extremely old. old. Like we have found farm equipment, farm equipment on here, and those old fashioned stoves. We have found parts of those old-fashioned stoves kind of like um little house on the prairie stoves we're from oregon well princess not everybody has the same demeanor of being happy and stuff like bunny's demeanor is a lot different than how mine is so not everybody is going to perceive everybody the everybody the same way <laughs> you just saying just threatened one of our mods, princess. I do not take kindly to people threatening our mods. Mm. They are here for a reason, and that is to protect us. And yes, you did say hello, and one of our mods said something to you, and you were being rude and threatened them. So yes. Okay, good. I didn't want to be. I didn't want to be like one of those people. What? Huh? Actually, Princess did do something. Um, if you go to the comment section of yesterday's video, she said something along the lines of, this isn't a vlog about our live stream, and I made the joke that you're not a princess, as in, you know, you're not a real princess royalty, you know, Princess Diana, you're not a princess. And she goes off in a long, like, you know, a long thing. She makes a video, a post on her Instagram, and some other stuff. And our mods had seen that. They were just basically telling her to be nice. Yeah, there is a lot of gaslighting from Princess. Actually, no, I'm not on a different, well, I guess I am on a different we level. We are on a different level because... We don't allow people to sit here and talk shit. Talk shit and then come in here and try to be nice. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Sorry to see you go, but if you're going to do this shit, we don't want you here. Have a good one. You didn't talk shit, but yet there is a video out there saying that we were rude to you. And there's also an Instagram post saying that we were rude to you when we were not. No. I apologized to you. To, I apologized to you this morning, saying that Kay was jokingly talking, and you said that that was your biological, biological name. name. Cream makeup.
Well, yes, I do realize that's why I said hello. I did say hi back. So did I, and then you kept going. Can I continue with my story, or do I have to explain yeah. it to you again? Anyways, back to what I was doing while Bunny's doing that. I'm trying to make the dots more prominent. Well, I hope you don't pee your pants. Have a nice time out, princess. I'm not effing you with you right now. Anyways, um, like I said, the father owned a lot of fields in the back where they had, you know, their um, people working and uh, uh, it's because it's an open chat, Tanya. Yeah, it's open chat because we've got people come over from Chantel. No, that's so, not it. They have nothing to do with it. It's an open chat, so... Well, people yeah. are just coming in here. And well, I mean, that's the reason why we have an open chat is because we have people from Chantel's chat that came over. No, so. Chantel, it's not your fault. We would have no. opened the we would have eventually opened up the chat so people could come in and chat with us. Don't don't be sorry for anything. We enjoy having you guys here. Um. Anyways, uh. And then there was the mother. You barely seen her. She walked the stairs. That's right here next to us. Mm -hmm. um, she was very quiet. Only heard a couple creaks. You'd only get a glimpse of her. She was very, very beautiful. Um, after the daughter disappeared. Why did the daughter disappear, Kay? Well, one day we were playing up on the hill. Thank you, Tasha. And I was playing underneath a bush. And we were moving, I was moving some sticks and stuffs around. And I came across this little tiny porcelain doll that looked like she had been sitting there for a long, long time. Like, she wasn't anything new. Like, hi, Cece. She, hi, Cece. Her little joints were held together with a uh, string and stuff. And um, I brought it back down and I showed mine. Ma had it in her room for a little bit. And then one day, the doll just came up missing, as did the little girl. Yes. It'll be shipped back tomorrow. Yay! We apologize, Tanya. And so, um, after the little doll disappeared, so did the little girl. Hi, Branch. Hi, Branch. Um... <laughs> The little boy followed, and then the mother followed. The father stayed around for a while and noticed that his family wasn't here anymore because he never came in the house. We uh, blocked him from coming in the house. I did. We did not like his energy. Nope. Um, the grandma stayed around, and she's here to this day. That mother or that grandmother is here to this day. She will not leave for nothing. Nope. Um, after that, we had little things happen. Um, we witnessed a, uh, what you would call a ghost train that would go through the house on a nightly basis for up to six months. Um, we aren't sure where the train came from. Or where it went. Or where it went, where it was going, how it got here. We had no idea that there was even train tracks on this property. We, when we metal detect this, uh, when we metal detect our property, we never found anything that was conclusive to railroad tracks. I mean, we did find uh, stakes, some stakes, but I don't think they were railroad tracks. <laughs> were you all freaked out? No, no. Mm -mm. This is, um, okay. Okay, Chantal. This was stuff that just happened, so you get used to it. So, um, after a while, it's just stuff that you just see. Um, is it loading for everybody? Nothing badly. That's Our weird. internet seems to be fine today. Huh. Is it buffering for everyone? 
Okay. Almost didn't catch. Yeah, last uh, of October, or I think it was in Chris. I would think it was in. Actually, it was in December. Uh, last year, um, Bamus. There's a Bamus. I think it's Bamus Day 13, where we have actual uh, security camera footage of an orb appearing and then disappearing on the camera. Um, I know my half sister used to stay over here and said she had, you know, witnessed some stuff. It's okay, Tasha. Um, it's okay, Tasha. Had witnessed some stuff that goes on in the house. I mean, our house is fairly quiet except for around Halloween and Christmas time. Um, yeah, it is. This is a very spooky area. Um, uh, me and Kay one time witnessed a guy on a bike that just vanished into the middle of nowhere. I mean, he was like a full-fledged human. Yeah, you could not was, see through him. He was, he a, was like a full-fledged um, figure. He was a grade-A apparition, is what they're called. Grade-A apparition. He was um, biking down the road. A car was coming this way. The, bi the car passed by the biker. And the biker never came back out. Nah, Rick, I would never leave this house just because of spirits. Nope. They'll have to leave because of me. Yep. Um, we have witnessed um, orbs. We have witnessed shadow people. We have witnessed voices. We've done EVP recordings and gotten, uh, like, uh, intelligent responses. Like, we've, we've done it all. Like... We're not allowed to do EVP recordings and stuff like that anymore because um, Ma doesn't want us to be dragging demons and stuff into the house. So we don't, like, do anything like that. But, yeah, um, like, one time Ma had just gotten this new sectional. Well, it wasn't new. It was new to us. Old, you know, it was an old sectional, but it was new to us. And me and Bunny decided to do an EVP session. I wish we still had the EVP. Uh, that, that EVP, because you guys would piss your, your pants. damn pants. Tell them, Bunny, what did that EVP say? So I was asking if anybody had ever died on the couch, would, wanted to say anything, and so we were playing it back, and all of a sudden, in a very loud child's voice, said, fuck off. I nearly cried. I jumped ten feet in the air, got off that couch. Now, if you guys are, if you guys are ready to seriously piss your pants, I will tell you one of the scariest, longest paranormal encounter I have ever had. And Kay can be my witness. Oh, the, 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 yeah. Okay. Yes. Are you guys it's ready? Shimmery. Yeah. No, it's like legit a shimmer now. Yeah, it's supposed to when it dries. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I know. Ugh. Oh, no. I'm so sorry you don't like Kay's makeup. Because I absolutely love it. I absolutely love this makeup, too. Like... I can do other things. I just like this makeup. This Everybody is who is ready. My favorite. Put a heart emoji into the chat so I know you're ready. And I didn't know they were paying attention to my makeup. And just so you guys know. No, not the green. No. We'll tell that one later, Jules. But no. This one will seriously make people piss their pants. And you guys can believe me or not, it is perfectly fine. Yeah, sometimes so would I. What? Oh, that ghost could chip in and pay rent and bills and stuff. I know. I mean, they live here rent-free. They, they need to move out. 
All right, guys, are we ready? Because this is the freakiest thing I ever gone through. Okay, so this happened maybe in 2010, 2011. Um, I was begging my mom to get me a Bible because I wanted to go through it every night and read some things out of it because I was having some very bad dreams. Um, and so I, I begged my mom to get me a Bible. She said she didn't know where to get one. And, you know, she didn't know if churches would give them out for free. And back at that time, my uncle Thumper, um, we were going over to his house and staying the weekends said he would get me a Bible. Well, he got me a Bible, all right. It was in a black case. It had this really cool... No, we don't live rent-free. We pay rent here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that book. Um, it was in a really nice black case. Yeah, Uncle Thumper. He liked bunnies, so we used to call him Uncle Thumper. Mm -hmm. um, this was back in like 2010 or so. Um, yeah. So my Uncle Thumper, he, you know, he, he gave me a Bible. It was in this really nice um, black case. It had this really cool Thumper. Like Thumper. Like me from Bambi. Yeah. Thumper. He had a thumper tattooed on his ankle or his leg somewhere or something. Ugh. Anyways, so he had gotten me this really nice Bible. It was in this black case. Yes, the Bible story. A lot of our subscribers already know already know this story. Um, so mm -hmm. the new ones can listen. The old ones don't have to listen unless you like it. Very long story. Creeps me out to this day. But it had a chain with a um, a Jesus that was uh, on the cross. Like one of those one things that people kind of have when they're, you know, when they go to church. Oh, I don't know where it was, Jules. I thought it was on his leg. It was he somewhere. Had, he had the, he had the um, barbed wire on his ankle. I thought he had a thumper on his foot or something. Mm -mm. Anyways, I don't remember where it was. It's been so long ago I've, mm -hmm. since I've seen him. Anyways, it held it held a, uh, yeah, it was like a crucifix. You could use it to, like, mark your area where you were, um, where you were reading. Well, in this Bible, it had whoever owned it before family stuff. It had their names, their birthdays, their death dates. Um, a lot of the pages had, like, uh, highlighted marks in it where they were reading like a lot, like somebody had gone to church a lot with this book. Well, I started, I started reading this Bible every night and every night when I would fall asleep, I would have the same dream. My ex rosary. I don't know if it was a rosary. It wasn't. It was just a crucifix. It had Jesus on it. Um, it. Um, Every night after I would read it, I would have the same nightmare over and over and over again. Um, my best friend died when she was 19 or 20. She got into a car accident. They let her leave the hospital. She died of a concussion. She was in the dream, and then my ex-fiance was in the dream at the time. He and I wasn't together. Um, and so it would start out really good. We would be sitting on a bench in a park and the sun would be out and it would you would hear like birds chirping and stuff. And then all of a sudden um, she would say hi and we would hug and we would like talk about, you know, what's been going on in my life. And then all of a sudden it would completely change, get dark. Her face would change. She would sound demonic. And then my ex-fiance would come over and kill me somehow. Like slit my throat, you know, stab me, shoot me, throw me down a dark hole. And it just happened over and over and over and over again. I was flipping terrified. And then it started happening 
outside of the dreams. I would see a dark figure. The room would feel like death. I did not want to sleep in there. I did not want to be in there. I did not want anything to do with that room. What? No. This was before me and my ex got back together. Um, I did not want to do anything in that room. Um, I kept the Bible with me. I kept reading it. We did not know anything. Anything. We did not know that the Bible was doing this. We did not know at all. Um, and this happened for like a good six, eight months before we realized that the Bible was the reason that there was a demonic presence in the bedroom. We, um, what are you doing? Oh, you can't, uh, yeah, go ahead. Um, what, what we tried to sage. We salted, um, nothing worked, nothing. And the day that my parents took the Bible out of my room, no, just fiance. I wasn't married. Oh, I don't know. Perfect. How is anybody married? Hey, really? Seriously? No, they asked you if you were married. And then it says, how is that possible? Oh, well... You don't have to get rude with them. Anyways. No, we didn't. It's just a misunderstanding. Um, the day that my parents took the Bible out, we salted it, put it into a black trash bag. We salted it. Um, and they buried it on the property. Everything went away. Everything went away. He went away. The dreams went away. Everything. And then a couple months ago, Kay undug something that scared the flying shit out of me. Mm. What was it? <laughs> okay, so I was I, we, I was pulling weeds up on the hill area. Yeah, salted Bible and that weird thing to say. Anyways, I was pulling weeds up on the hill and I was kind of metal detecting as I was going along because I was also pulling a, uh, a bush up out of there. Because Ma didn't want these stuff there anymore. And so I was pulling a bush up out there. And I got this beep, 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 beep. So I kind of dug around and I pulled a gold cross from just under a surface of leaves. The gold cross contained the same thing that was inside of that Bible. And I flipped my goddamn britches and I told her to put it back. And I was like, no. But... When Ma got home, she told us it wasn't the same one. So I kind of, nothing's happened since. So the Bible must still be buried somewhere in this property. Um, still hidden. Yeah. You guys, just so you know that anything can be possessed, whether it's a holy object or not. Holy object or not. It can be tainted. I'm sorry to burst your guys' bubble, but yeah. A crucifix can be tainted. Um, if you guys do have something that is possessed, please do not get rid of it. Please do not burn it. Please do not leave it in your house. Well, yeah, probably. I don't know. I just know that the first day I opened that Bible, shit started hitting well, the fan. Well, technically, um, it probably aggravated the evil spirit that was inside of the case that I, or inside of the Bible that I opened. Um, um, like I said, if you guys have anything that is possessed, please do not burn it. Please do not get rid of it. Please do not keep it in your house. Never use a weak word. For the love of God, if you can, salt the mother loving shit out of it. And when I mean salt the mother loving shit out of it, I mean use white salt not pink himalayan rock salt you put it into a box or into a bag and you use 
every single grain to cover that mother effer. And you either bury it on your property or put it somewhere and lock it up. No, don't eBay it. Then you'll just give it to somebody else. Yeah. I mean, look what happened with Annabelle. Yeah, seriously. Now we don't even know if Annabelle is uh, possessed anymore after Zach touched it. I mean, if you want to burn it, then you're going to have that demon attached to you for life because they no longer have their, um, what are they called? Um, what are they called? Uh, Possession. No. What are they called? God damn vessel. It. Yes. They no longer have their vessel. Welcome back, little Coop. Welcome back, little Coop. Yep. Yeah, host bodies or vessel. Mm hmm Okay, Vickery. We'll be here. Oh. There we go. I did it. I did it. What? Oh, nothing. Just uh, some things that were put up on. But um, that was one of the... That's one of the most scariest things that has ever happened to me, paranormal-wise. Come here, Mingo. Come here, Mingo. Yeah, I'm here, Bye, beans and cheese. Thank you for coming. Bye, beans and cheese. Thank you you for guys, coming. go ahead. If you are part of Chantel's VIB, go ahead and roll over there and see what she has in store for you guys. Yeah, I hope we don't miss her. Uh, what are you doing? Excuse me. You know what? Melty little cat. What are you doing? Why does he look like a homeless cat? Because he is a homeless cat. What are you doing? Are you a homeless cat? Oh, uh, Mingo. Uh, oh, uh, right into shit. the damn makeup. Yeah. Congratulations, Mingo. Hold on, Mingo. Hold on, you Mingo. You are the precious one of them all. Okay. Hold on, Mingo. We love you, too. Yeah. Oh, man, I just missed what you were talking about. I watch it as soon as your stream is over. Sorry, I'm so late. It is okay, Jimmy. It's okay, Jenny. <laughs> Come here, baby. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> Anyways, we have millions of paranormal stories. I have some that are very, very neat. If you guys want to hear those, they're not really scary. I enjoy them. They are better part of. Um, yes, it's Tahine Mango. Yep. It's a better part of it's a better part of my paranormal um fall through. Well walkthroughs. I mean I can tell you, Jules can tell you, and Kay can tell you that I have a little boy and a full fledged wolf that will come to me when something bad's about to happen. Mm -hmm. They have seen it. I have seen it. My dad's heard it. You're healing, Raquel. Healing. It requires sleep. Healing. Probably because you just ate Thai food. Uh, yeah, that, that too. Is carbs and carbs, carbs make you sleepy. tired. Isn't that right, baby mango? I don't care. He's taking a nice little nappy nap in the blanket with a very you want me to put it back up in the room? Is the heater on up there? Yeah. Oh, then yeah, he might like that better. So, more. um, from the, um, I can tell you guys something really cool. Okay, I'll be back. I used to talk, I used to talk in my sleep a lot. Um, I used to, um, I was still in middle school, the girls, Kay and Jules, when I say girls, 
Um, they were still in elementary school when we were getting ready to take a beach trip. I had a dream um, where my grandma that I never got to meet on my mom's side, um, she came to me and she told me, she said, Bunny, you cannot go. It's dangerous. You cannot go. Um, they're saying bye, Mango, and they're giving him kisses. <laughs> um, she said that if we couldn't go to the beach, that it was dangerous. And the next day, um, we were getting ready to go. We were all packed up in the van and the van refuses to start. Doesn't matter what we do. My dad takes out the battery, changes the spark plug, looks at all the stuff. It just refuses to start. So we unpack the van and they were getting ready to go to work a couple days later. And on the news, there was a report of a mudslide the same day, the same time that we would have been there where a family got caught in it and were killed. I'm after. I'm after something. Why don't you go get one of your muffins? <gasps> Good idea. Do you want a muffin? No, I don't. No? Okay. I'm gonna get a muffin. So after that day, I kept having vivid dreams about my grandmother. Before she would come, I would smell a smell of florist shop because she used to work at a florist shop. I ain't telling you where. Um, but she just worked at a florist shop. You know that baby's breath, that fresh smell of flowers? It really, really heavily, you know, wafted. Nobody else could smell it, so I knew she was coming to me. And um, she would tell me things, like things that were going to happen and things like that. Okay, Raquel. Um, she is one of my guardian angels. She attached to me the day of the beach trip. So she is one of my guardian angels. She will come to me when um, I need help or if I'm in trouble. Um, I don't know if this is the right time to be talking about this. But in 2013, I was sexually assaulted by a guy that I was dating. And around the time that it happened was at the end of September... I have constant rape dreams. How to go from talking paranormal? Because to it make I will tell you in a minute. Now, bunny. Oh my god, that's crazy! I didn't even notice. Um, <laughs> I have constant rape dreams. They drain me to the point where I am grouchy. I am just don't want to deal with it anymore. I don't get sleep. Um, for the longest time, my two guardian, my two spirit guides were able to get me out of them. But this year with everything that is going on, they had to call in reinforcements, which was my grandmother. My grandmother would come to me I every single night. Monster. My grandmother would come to me every night this year when when it was the anniversary of it and she would what the hell's wrong with you eggshell thought she said there was no eggshell there in it there was no eggshell well apparently there was yeah there was that's a huge eggshell too congratulations now you ain't gonna eat any more of them are you i'll let you more i'm just not gonna pull dumb moves like that Are you done? Can I finish my story? Yeah, go ahead. Anyways, um, so um, my grandma came to me every night for the couple of weeks that I was having them, and I couldn't figure out why. Yeah, extra crunchy. 
So she kept coming to me and I couldn't figure out why until one night it dawned on me. They must be so strong this year that my other two spirit guides were unable to. So they had to call my grandma, which was a stronger one than them. And so after she pulled me out of maybe, I don't know, maybe five of them, I stopped having them. So um, I'm hoping next year I won't have them at all. So I'm hoping she is still around. I haven't seen her since. So I guess I don't need her right now. I can't be. You guys realize Chantelle is live, right? Yeah, they know. Mm. I'm back for more stories. Mm. <laughs> so pretty much this is this is the this is the bond that a spirit guy has. If you are in trouble, they will protect you the best they can. And if they can't, they will find somebody. They will find somebody to protect you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I never got to meet her. She was our grandmother. Um, when she first started coming to me, I didn't know who she was. I just know that I smelt florist shop. And when I told Ma, she showed me pictures. And when she got to the right picture, she told me it was my grandmother. I was too young to know who she was. And so, you know, I must just have a strong enough gift for her to be able to come to me. Because sometimes when she comes to me, the visions are so vivid. Vivid. She used to take me into, I don't know how many of you guys have been here for a long time. Um, but there was a ocean picture in the dining room or in the front room where we used to sit mm -hmm. I don't know how many of you have been here long enough probably nobody but there was a ocean picture sorry Andrea Andreas I should have probably said trigger warning mom's in the shower um, but sometimes when she comes to me, um, the visions are so vivid that I can feel things. Like when we, when she took me to the beach one time, I could feel the sand and the ocean air in your hair. And you can smell like that sea salt smell that you get when you walk on the beach. It is Hold that on. vivid. Yeah, Lochmas is right. It's a um, pumpkin pie spice streusel muffin I made yesterday on yeah, stream. You're making a mess with that bitch. It is very messy. Mm hmm. Oh, I was right. It wasn't the... I mean, Mama, mm -hmm. you were able to eat the stroganoff just fine, and it has sour cream in it. So I had to think... I had to assume that it was the enchilada sauce. Wait, Mama. Mm -hmm. The, um... Oh, hold on. Oops. Grandma. Is it great-grandma or is it Grandma. My spirit guide. Is that great grandma or great grandma? That's my mom. That's your mom. Okay. I wanted to make sure. <laughs> they do. So if you guys have any questions about spirit guides, about anything paranormal, just let me and Kay know because we've been through a shit ton. Mm-hmm. And if we can't answer it, maybe Ma can. Mm. So before I moved out of the room, the bunny was um, bunny currently inhabiting. There, I had gone in there one day. Oh yes, incubus, incubus, there's no fun. I hate those bastards. 
Anyways, anyways, I had uh, gone in there one day because I was going to do something. I don't remember what it was. I think and we both went in there. No, it was just me. I was alone. I remember, I remember sitting on the bed and hearing it. Yes, you, well, after I came out and got you guys, because oh. you guys were all watching TV, Mom was taking a nap. And I had gone in there, and I heard breathing. It was over the closet area. We had, like, a bunch of toys and boxes of stuff over there. Thank you, Tasha. Thank you, Tasha. And I had moved some stuff around and kind of looked around just to make sure, you know, we didn't have a trapped cat or animal or something in there. And... I was like, this is weird. It was just heavy breathing. And so I went out. I got Bunny, Jules, ex-sister, and we all went back in there. And they could also hear this heavy breathing. Yeah, some people, some people unintentionally block themselves off. It's more of a protection mechanism. Like if it if the idea of paranormal scares them. They will, like, unintentionally lock themselves off. Close themselves off, sorry. Anyways, and they could also hear it. And it was weird because it kept going and going. And finally, Mom woke up from her nap. And we got her back there. And Mom could also hear it. But with Mom, she's, like, uh, medium, kind of. More like a seeker. Okay, so what mom can do is she can't exactly see them. She can see pictures. She can, yeah, she'll see pictures in her head. It's more mind psychic. So she can see pictures. She can hear voices. Hi, Melinda. All in her head. And she had followed this guy around. Sensitive, that's it. She's sensitive. Um... And so she followed this guy around and she talked to him. And apparently before this was, before this area was land, it was the river like Bonnie had said. And along this area where we're currently sitting. Um, hi, Melinda. Um, there was an island. And this guy <clears throat> had been running from this other guy who was trying to kill him and take his boat so oh tasha please don't use a ouija board anymore ouija boards are evil they are they can let stuff out you can't trust anything behind a ouija board never I'm sorry to say this, but whoever plays with a Ouija board is stupid. You can unintentionally let something out and not even realize. Yes, I'm sorry for your loss, Tasha, but... Yeah, I'm sorry for your loss as well. But anyways, so this guy, he had been running from another guy who was trying to take his boat and kill him. And, um... He hid behind a tree. Which yeah, he hid behind a tree. Our house. Which was in that area of the house. Which was weird. It was crazy, like... Oh, thank God. Oh. Hi, Strawberry Charms. Hi, Strawberry Charms. Yeah, we'll have to uh, inform Chantel. Give her that paranormal talk down. I mean, she already hears shit, so I don't think she wants to know what happened. Yeah. You can make your own Ouija board. I don't advise it. Because that can do more harm than good. You let shit out of there even though you say goodbye to the board. Yeah. It's from the makers of Monopoly. That's that weird. is weird as hell. No. No. Milton no. Bradley? Is that who makes the... Yeah. Yeah, that's the Ouija board. Yeah. But Milton Bradley makes the Ouija board. But not Monopoly. Milton Bradley... Oh. Yeah. Hmm. I like the tops. I want to make more topping and throw it in the oven and 
heat it up. Cook it. This is so good. <clears throat> it's okay, Tasha. We just um wanted to let you know how bad Ouija boards are. Mm -hmm. We're eating all the toppings off my plate. Okay, James. Yeah, Shay. <laughs> you said what, dude? That's beautiful. Funny. You have no respect. That's just that is just rude, bunny. That is just rude and very triggering. I feel oh, triggered I'm right sorry. now. I'm, I'm done eating my crispy bits. You have triggered me. Okay, Jinx, we'll be right here. Oh, man. <clears throat> I can't. Not until it comes up. I can't I can't burp on command. Oh, yeah, you like uh, these little cups? I mean, they were... I don't know what they were supposed to be. Well, they're technically decoration jars, so you can put, like, eyeballs in there and biscuits, liquids, and I just paint used, them. I mean, they're Halloween color. Why not? Cups, hey. They got lids so flies doesn't so Frank doesn't fly into it. Yeah, we're trying to protect Frank from being deaded. You can't drink that. Why? Because you just had a muffin. I know. I gotta wait. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, you do. So tomorrow when I wake up, I'm gonna <gasps> do We can make jello in these. No. You know what I'm going to do first? And I got to get a clear cup, though, to do it. I need to get the vampire things out of my bedroom. Oh, yeah. That. We're going to do fun things tomorrow. I know. But mm -hmm. I was thinking maybe we could also do, like, some jello yeah, in jello. these yeah. and put blueberries in them. Yeah, probably. Like little eyeballs. Those jellos. Yeah, we, we could do, do those, those jellos. jellos. Okay. The shimmer ones, those would be really good. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, technically, doing any kind of paranormal activity-wise thing in your home can uh, lead to... Yeah, um, don't worry about it, Tasha. I mean, if nothing bad came out of it. I mean, I don't think it's going to harm anything, but... Yeah. No. No. Well, technically, I made a Ouija board at my grandma's house, and I was trying to... Start. I will never use hold a on, Ouija board. On. Oh, Dr. Pepper makes you burp. This is Diet Pepsi, so I don't know if it's going to make me burp. I mean, it made me burp in the first place. Just careful. Okay, anyways. So, um, I did make a Ouija board at my grandma's house, and I tried to sell off my great cousin's soul to the first, to the highest bidder, de highest bidding demon. Unfortunately, it didn't work. Yeah, I'm sure you're okay, Tasha. Um... I need to make some mixed berry syrup. Ooh, that sounds good, Lachmus. Like everything. Well, I'm glad, Tasha. Cause. Good night, Annie P. Thank you for coming. Good night, Annie. Thank you for joining. I'm all bloody. I'm bloody. Well, guess what? Bloody. Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. Maybe next year. What? You're also shimmery. Shimmer. Shimmer. Take it off. What? Take off the blood. No, you can't do it that way. You gotta get a wet wipe. I don't think it'll come off that way. Oh shit, it does. No, not really. Peel board. Oh. It won't peel. Mm. I don't have enough of it on for it to peel. Yes. I'm going to have to do some scary makeup. Oh, looks. that's because I used uh, my new blood spray. And this shit is fantastic. Hold on. Watch this shit, guys. Watch. I know. I'm sad that my horn actually broke off. See, that's the kind of shit this stuff does. I mean, if you hold it in place, it just does a glob. And you kind of let it work its way out. Yeah, you just let it go wherever it needs to go. With the time being it needs. Oh, yeah, Rose. Yeah. But tell them to go away. You're not interested. They don't need to be there. 
See, you're just wiping your was like one dollar and 97 cents so a little under two dollars and this will last me for a good i don't know probably three years unless we use more of it i mean i'll get another one if it's yeah but it constantly happens then you tell them that this is your house and they do not belong here you say in the name of jesus christ leave my home you do not belong here I don't want you here. I'm not worried about the staining. Because I'm just going to get... Well, I know. I'm just trying to get the rest Because look. See, Delma? Okay. That's from Teddy Rumpskin. Freaking Teddy ass. Here. Turn your... See, it's even on my hand. Mm -hmm. yeah. It looks like my hair is all the ways down here. Yeah, I'm. I'm sad my horn came off. The hot glue must it's okay. Must not have been that good. So, you guys, I made these horns. Hold on, I made these horns out of um, uh, cardboard. Hello, little baby. Yeah, I made these horns Hello, out of cardboard. You can keep going can and make them larger. Baby? Do you like <laughs> swirly ram horns? Like, okay. yes, ma'am. Somebody's come to see you. Who? Excuse me, soy. Is that fig? Yes, yeah, fig. Figs over there. Fig pigs. Fig pig pigs. <laughs> what? I have bl I have a blessed crucifix in every room of my house, just in case. That is a good thing. Yeah. And if you can, if you can, what you do is you get small crucifix. That'd be so Go cute. to a church. I mean, back get here. them holy water treated. Have somebody pray over them. Put them in the four corners of your property. Yeah, I near your home, dig a hole, put them in there, you know, do this whole thing, like what, you know, somebody does when they pray. I don't know. I don't really go to church, you know. I'm going to take it up close and show them. Um, and that should protect your property from anything coming in. I do also have real multiple stalkers. Well, that, Rose, I'm pretty See, sure up close it's not very nice. Rose, but that I'm pretty sure you're going to have to get the uh, police cardboard. involved in. All cardboard, you guys. And then I painted it gold. Because I love gold. I'm a unicorn. There you go. You're a unicorn. Cool. I'm a unicorn. 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 Oh, Majesticus Fluffing Unicorn. Okay. Excuse me. Experiamus. Fig. Avada Kedavra. Fig. Come here, Fig. 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 <laughs> yeah. Come with me, and you'll be yeah, in that's a crazy. world of pure imagination. We've been on live for almost two freaking hours. And I didn't get to make the graham crackers. I love Harry Potter. You didn't do the graham crackers like you promised. That's okay. That we now have what the month. hell are we going to do tomorrow? What are we planning? We need to figure out what we're going to make for dinner and then do it. Oh, yeah. Protect One, your two, face. Be careful. Three. Make sure to help. Hold on. With me. Uh, make sure you check with your local law enforcement or laws in your area because here, pepper spray is 
not allowed to be carried by pedestrians. Yes, I can. I didn't think it was. Yes, I can. No, tasers cannot. Oh. Pepper spray is fine. I've seen fried many people. Oh. Fried pork chops and potatoes. Ooh, that sounds good. Maybe we can make that. Eat pork chops and potatoes tomorrow. Because I'll just pull those. Uh... Yeah, I know. Yeah. It was in the freaking title, Kay. Well, you got into paranormal. You could have gone and gone and got shit and made grand characters while I was telling them about my creepy experiences. Oh, we could do it another day. That's what we call clickbait, you guys. Clickbait. We don't do clickbait. Yes, we do. No, we don't. We've titled streams. This is clickbait. Well, yeah, that's a title. And it says clickbait in it. But we don't do clickbait titles. We have done clickbait title bunnies. Like what? Don't ask me to... I know we've done them. Just don't what? put me on the spot like that. God. I want to know what. I think it was last year. Oh, yeah. I like that name. Oh, yeah. I think you should try live cookie decorating on a stream Halloween thing. We, we are good. We are going to be. Well, that's why I wanted to try the graham crackers again. Because we're going to be doing. Oh, we're doing the live cupcake challenge, which is going to be live. And it'll be blindfolded. And Chantel is joining us for it. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. Oh, yeah. I think that's how it's supposed to go. Yeah. Anyways, and that's why I wanted to try the gingerbread cookies. Because. I will not eat crepes again. Just so you know. Crepes? Yeah. Why? They taste like sweet eggs. Oh, yeah. And you will know I have a problem with eggs. Anyways, um, no worries. We have courage. Yes. But, Excuse me. I apologize. But anyways, I wanted to make the gingerbread houses or the, you know, haunted houses for Halloween to do decorating. Decorating. Yeah. What say you, Bun Bun? Boon it. You shut up. Don't look at me like that. Are we going to vomit? Almost. Teddy doesn't have his knife. Teddy threw his knife. Teddy lost his knife. Teddy threw Here, it. Teddy. Yes. It's a unicorn horn. Uh -huh. Teddy told uh -huh. me he don't like you. Teddy told me he doesn't like you either. Teddy told me he peed in your bed last night. So did I. That's weird. <laughs> I thought there was something different. A little more tinkle than what was supposed to be there. Yeah, I can... Hold on. One. Tasha. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought that there was something a little squishy before I sat down. But I I just thought it was um a little over twinkle over tinkling from my uh um from my uh inhaling a uh, ten gallons of water. I'm sorry. Teddy ate mango. Huh? Teddy ate mango. Well, good for Teddy. Now I better regurgitate that mango or he's gonna have an angry ma on his hands. Uh, I'm a hormone monster now. Oh, yeah. Good job. Same here. I agree. No more. Hold on, guys. I'm going to take a picture for Instagram. Hold on. You broke your heart. I didn't even get a picture of you. In your Halloween costume because you broke your horn. I'm trying to put my horn on. Why don't you... I don't know what to do for you. Oh, wait. I have an idea. We could just glue the freaking shit back on. Ooh, yeah. Glue it. Don't give me that look, man. Don't give me that look. Now plug this biatch in. How about you plug your name? <laughs> that was beautiful. 
she's allergic to pictures. I am a one-eyed, one-horned, fly, purple people eater. One-eyed, oh, one-horned, fly, purple people eater. Hey, Hi, Sabrina. I've been a long time since I've been on this channel. Sure missed you guys. I'm glad you're alive. Yes, I'm currently trying to fix my outfit, uh, my costume. My costume. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Thank you, Shep. Holy shit, I almost sneeze again. Thank you, Shay. Need to take better picture. I was in the middle of a sneeze. Yeah, you were. Me and Teddy don't like you. Hold on. Oh, was that? Oh, the cat. Ooh. I thought it was Teddy. Yeah. Yeah, and then my shirt, you guys. I'm not weird, bitch. I'm limited edition. I'm buffering Ooh. so bad. I like that picture. It looks like I'm naked. Look at me in the background. <laughs> it's Tartus. Hi, Tartus. Everybody meet Tartus. Yep. Tartus, come here. Oh, you little bitch. I actually got it off of a app called Top Hatter. Good night, Lockmas. Thank you Good for night, coming. Good night, And actually, our Instagram is. Bunny K B U N N Y Y K E I on Instagram. Yeah, I also have another one. Um, oh, what does my other one say? I have no fucking idea. I don't remember what my other one says. I just seen beautiful picture. Actually, no, I didn't just call my cat a bitch. I was referring to the word bitch on my shirt. There we go. Well, you yeah, yeah. It needs five minutes to heat up. Hey! Holy shit, Teddy! I heard something go flying. Oh! Tardis. Tardis, ow. Because Tardis has the habit- Thank you, Tasha! Of misbehaving. Thank you, Shay. I guess you haven't been around our channel very much because I call Tardis a bitch a lot. Yay! That one's mine. Yeah, K E I uh, K E I D A Y Y is mine. And he's like, I'm gonna stuff my boobs together. Nope, this one's going too personal. Somebody. So you gotta stuff your boobs together. His real name is Tardis, but I call him a bitch because he likes crawling up the side of me and scratching the shit out of me. But um, when we call our cats names, they're mostly their names, but he is the only one that I call a bitch. Yeah. He, he'll, he'll, yeah, he'll literally, like, claw up your back or side because he doesn't care. 
I call him Chonky Tardis. We apologize if you thought it was rude. It's just how we go about calling him. He's always misbehaving. What are you doing, Bubby? Bubby? What? Come here. Weird ass cat. Excuse me, Teddy's got to go to the corner. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come here, baby. Yeah, well, why'd you run underneath my chair? Yeah, he's about Come a here. year old now. He was born last year. Now I don't even know where that... What? Yes. That grandma ghost is still here, but she's up there and stays up there. She's upstairs. I'm hoping he grows out of it, too, because he really hurts. Kitty cat, come here. Come here, little kitty. Come here, little kitty. Come here, little kitty, kitty, kitty. Come here, little kitty. Oh, my God. He just totally ran that cat over. Oh, my do that, I guess. Fine. What? Fine. I found a baby. Shit. Shit. Now you I can't, can't move. Why? Because a cat just went underneath my... There he is. I thought he went underneath my chair. How do we do it? Almost had it. And then I ruined it. Yeah, he's a rambunctious little shit. He used to be really, really, really mellow and would lay on the table. And now he's just the little rambunctious shit that, like, will razor blade up your back or up your side or jump, like, come from the top of the kitchen stairs, run downstairs, like, rip up your legs, go back down, and, like, try to claw his way out of the screen door. Huh. Guess who I got? Who? Fig. That's not Fig. This is Fig. Not Fig. Fig. Not Fig. This is Fig K. Look at him. He's too fat and big to be no, Fig. No, this is Fig. That's not Fig. I'm gonna tell you that right Little now. Little Fig. Um, this is Fig. No. Yeah, it is. That's not fig. I'm telling you this right now. This is fig. That's not fig. Yeah, it is. Uh, no, he's not fixed. No, I'm... Come here, fig. We're going to get him fixed, though. We, uh, we foster and rescue cats. So you yep. will see a lot of cats running in and out. We'll talk about a lot of cats. And then we'll, like, suddenly stop talking about those cats. Cause... Um, little coop. This is Fig. Cave just can't see it because she's blind as a bat. Look at his face. Look I... at his left eye. It's not Fig. It is Fig. Call his name. Fig. 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 Doesn't look like Fig to me. It is Fig, K. I don't know what you're talking about. You can unplug that. We currently do have a couple of full litters. That we are dealing with right now. They came in um, months apart. Yay! It's it's Ziggy. It's Hi, Maddie. Hi, Ziggy. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Ziggy. It's been a long time. They weren't here the other day. No, they weren't. Yes, they were. Were they really? Yeah. I missed it. Yeah. Come here, Fig. No, what you falling? I'll be right back. Hello, baby. Hello, Fig. Oh, yes, Fig. I'm telling you right now, this is Fig. Oh, my toe. It's not Fig. Yes. We foster and rehab and rescue cats. Kittens, cats, old cats. Yes. Currently, we just lost one of our oldest cats a couple of months ago. Excuse me. So. How dare you throw my bingo on the floor? <sighs> what are you doing? What? Thank you, Maddie. Thank you, Ziggy. Thank you, Maddie. Thank you, Ziggy. Thank you. 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 Thank
Thank you. I can't tell anymore. He's not up there, is he? No, because she threw mango on the floor. Well, guess what? This is mango, or this is, uh... No, no, that's not the problem. One of his eyes is smaller than the other one. Yeah, he's got, like, this, uh... It's weird. It's, it has nothing to do with him being sick. It's just one of his eyes is smaller than the other. Yeah. That's how I can tell Mango apart from other cats. Yeah, isn't that right, little fig? Uh. We apologize, guys. We have a very frisky kitty. Okay, I don't know how you can not tell your own damn cat. Doesn't look like him. It is him. Doesn't look like him. Here, here. <laughs> what? Oh, she said, uh oh. Thank you. Look at him. This is your cat. Big. Biggie, big. Biggie. Unless Fig is deaf, then that's not Fig. Nope, he's not deaf. Can I get, can I get there first? Can I get Teddy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. That's what I was saying. Hello. You're, thank you, Tasha. Yes, every thumbs up entertains a K. Not joking. It entertains me. Thank you, Tasha. Well, I've noticed when you stick him in your shirt, he gets really quiet. Yeah, Fig is very vocal. Now, when you pick him up, I learned this today when I was up there looking for another outfit because the one I wanted to do. When I picked him up, he rolled over and went to sleep. Oh, Fig, you, you are a baby Fig, aren't you? It is very cozy in there. That is why a lot of the kittens love being in there. It stays mm -hmm. spicy in there. This is where Tardis used to go a lot of times. Oh, yeah. Tardis used to love it down the shirt under the blanket. He used to sleep under the blanket with me. I love my Tardis. He was a cute bean, then he grew up, and he got real mean. <laughs> you'll, you'll see me shove a lot of cats into my shirt, because this is how you keep them quiet and warm. What? What's going on? No, I was going to see Chantel. You can't do it that way. you got to go check out her. Yeah, that's how you do it. Normally comes up there. Oh. There we go. Know. I really don't. I apologize. I didn't realize that was. Yeah. Yeah. He used to get up on the table, roll over, and let you pet his tummy and stuff. Go to sleep, and I'd rest my head on the table, and he'd like kind of come over and just like nuzzle up in my face area, and he'd get really cute. Let's see. We've got Tardis, Timber, Turd, Sprinkles, Turd. And then we've got about, I'd say, five kittens. Mm -hmm. Five, six kittens. But she's laying down. Turn it up. Watch the... Tell her, tell her, tell her, don't forget to poop a twerk. Got a, got a reminder. Yeah, turd. That's what my dad named her. Was turd. I'm watching you, my pretty. Also, remember to Fuka Torque. Fuka. Sorry. We're watching Chantel right here. How do you spell Fupa? F U 
F U P A. Oh, I did spell it. Twerk is T U T W E R K. No, hurry, Matt. Yes. Yeah, we have a cat named Turd because she was a little shit when she was younger. It's a reminder to poop it to work next stream. That was funny. Uh, we enjoy we enjoy harassing Chantel from afar. My precious. This. If you guys are ever in Chantel's uh, VIB and you hear her saying anything about Bay Nation, that is because I private message her. We do not have a membership in her chat. I private message her every time I see she's live so she knows that we are watching her. Yeah. And we do. We watch her. There's no way. It's darkness. We, she needs to look up at the light, you guys. I don't see anything. It's a little uh, red. Uh, <laughs> ah, that's hilarious. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, it's <laughs> okay, you guys. I think we're going to go ahead and end this here since it is almost 7 o'clock. And we have some stuff to do, like put away the chickens and make sure everything's closed up for the night. So we would like to thank you for joining us today on Vlogtober Day 2. Stay tuned for tomorrow, another vlog for Vlogtober Day 3. We need to find blue dresses, and we need to do the girls from The Shining. Come play with us. Come play with us. Come play with us. Come play with us. All right, you guys. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Also remember to turn on your notification belly button. Not once, but twice. You know what time it is. Just kidding. That's mystic, good mythical morning. Um, also remember, my name's Bunny. And I'm Majestic as Fluffing Unicorn K. And, and we, we are, are bitching out. Bye. Of course. Bye. Wow, you really.